Hey everybody, PG here. Uh, good to be back, so let's hop into this video right quick. Uh, we have the Monastery Head Cloth. Uh, feel free to pause the video, read the item description. I'm really not going to read it to you guys. And we're going to go ahead and switch away from that because it looks fucking ugly. Alright guys, Monastery Scimitar. Um, again, feel free to pause the video, read the item description if you like. Uh, not a very easy weapon to get. It's a pretty rare drop. Uh, the Monastery set itself is actually pretty fucking annoying to try to get. Uh, so for anybody out there that legitimately farmed it and got the entire set, uh, kudos to you. That's just not something I really feel like wasting uh, bonfire aesthetics on. Uh, Alright guys, so we all know anybody that has the Monastery Scimitar is usually an asshole and they're usually using it on their offhand and they're just being fucking assholes, just parry spamming the shit out of everything. Uh, so I guess the real concept behind this video is that uh, the Monastery Scimitar is a real fucking weapon. You can kill people with this weapon. You don't have to sit there and parry spam and hide behind, you know, the fucking, the, well, what was a zero frame and has now actually gotten itself some real timing uh, of the parry mechanic behind this weapon. So, I'm pretty much just going to try to show you guys that, you know, you can actually fight and kill people with this weapon. Uh, it's really not that hard to, uh, to hit people with this weapon. Um, it's really not hard to kill people with this. Uh, as you can see, I am fighting a Havel monster who has multiple weapons. He had a poisoned red iron twin blade and has since switched out to uh, what well, looks kind of like a Zwei hander. I think it's a Zwei hander. This roof aspect is really fucking me up, but I really do love fighting up here on the roof. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool if you could like fall through the roof and things like that. But uh, anyway. He is really, really getting in some of that spam right there, but uh, we're not too worried about it. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing because it's working. We just kind of got to get onto some level floor down here. I have low health, so he came down to say hi to me. And of course, hiding behind that shield, got him uh, shield bashed. We went ahead, took him out. Huh. <sighs> Alright, not a bad opening. Alright, so here we go with our next uh, friendly, friendly person over here. Uh, looks to be dual wielding katanas, maybe? Not too worried about it. Um, katanas are a bit overused, so I'm not... Eh, fuck it, you know? Everybody knows the movesets, everybody knows the timings. Uh, dual wielders with uh, the katanas, I mean, really, why bother? Uh, I feel like if you're going to dual wield weapons, you should dual wield weapons that really complement each other. Uh, not weapons that are the same, you know, matching weapons like dual katanas and things like that. Uh, that being said, there are certain weapons that when paired together and they're the same weapon, they actually are kind of cool. Uh, like the broadswords. Uh, the broadswords let you do a double step forward, which is really cool. And, uh, fun things like that. So, he thought he was gonna get me with that little lightning attack. Uh, we're not worried about it. Honestly, playing aggressive like this is just kind of fun. Oh, no. Uh, this looks like it might turn into a bit of a gank. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think these guys can heal while they're in my world. So, there we go. Got that guy, he's trying to do the cool guy walk up because he thinks he's going to change the tide of this fight. But uh, we're just chipping away at that guy's health. He just tried to attack me, but he ran off screen like an idiot. Alright, we're not too worried about this. We've handled ganks before. Uh, no, you're not going to get a backstab. Alright, so that lightning was a little bit weird. Okay. We're going to go a little bit smart about this. Let's go ahead and teach these nice little gankers a lesson. And let's walk away. They still think I'm playing. Alright, here we go. You guys might remember the video where I used this weapon. This weapon is really fucking fun to use. 
And just gonna go ahead and turn around and teach that guy a lesson. All right, so he's still my primary focus. I want to take that guy out first. God, everybody has a katana now. What is this? All right, that's fine. More lightning spam. Don't care. This is turning a little ugly. All right, maybe I need to kill this guy first. Come here, little buddy. You wanted to get involved. Now you're fucking involved. Oh no, a little dagger spam right there in the corner. All right, and take this guy out, and we will be good to go. A little poke right there. And he knows exactly what's going to happen. He knows he's going to lose. Ah, uh, that's what you get for relying on a friend. All right, skill over numbers. Uh, fuck ganking. All right, here we go again. Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Floating around just a little bit. That's all right. All right, here we go. Smart guy. He doesn't want to fight on the roof. Oh, I fell. That's okay. All right. So what are you using? Uh, Falchion, maybe? You no, know, red iron. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. We can dodge that, hopefully. I think we actually have... Oh, that's a little embarrassing. All right, good little parry right there. I think we actually have the same movesets for these two weapons, even though his is uh, the red iron twin blade, which does a shitload of damage. And mine is the little monastery scimitar. I still feel pretty confident. I think we uh, I think we can pretty much dominate this fight. Assuming I don't fall back into shitty combos like that. Uh, you know, gotta give me a little bit of a uh, little bit of leeway here, guys. It has been uh, what, like maybe two weeks since I played, so I'm just kind of doing the best I can. Ooh, nice, nice little knife kill right there. Uh, it seems like the Monastery Scimitar is actually rather difficult to parry. Um, I don't think I've ever parried one. And it seems relatively difficult for other people to catch the timing of it. I'm not 100% sure if it has curved sword timing, dagger timing. Uh, it's just one of the, oh my god, this guy has like no health. Which makes me worry that he has a huge amount of fucking attack damage. Uh, let's hopefully not find that out. I keep forgetting that my two-handed, uh... What's it called? Doesn't actually let me block. It just does that little parry. Nope, this guy's just crazy weak for some reason. Uh... Maybe he just didn't balance out his character very well? I'm not... I don't know. He's kind of light rolling with a lot of different equipment, so maybe he just has a huge equipment load and stamina. I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of... He's trying to do the fake out parries, and he's trying to do the setup for his uh, dodge attacks. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. He has good concepts. He has a good construct for his build. Like, he, he really did understand, you know, how to do the fake out dodgebacks into parries and things like that. Uh, he just wasn't using them correctly. Um, he was just kind of wailing and hoping that I would fall into the pattern he was setting up, which is never really what you want to do. Anytime you learn any kind of cool new trick, you want to definitely play the trick into your move set instead of just kind of doing what you think will work, if that makes any sense. All right, so we got another red invader. I got to say, guys, I actually am really enjoying the Bell Covenant. Uh, there's a lot less gankers. Uh, I haven't ran into a single hacker here. Uh, you get to fight blues, reds. You got the gray invaders who are the bell keepers. It really is just fun. I mean, overall, I think this is uh, probably one of my better areas for PvP right now. I really like it. Uh, I just, I'm getting real tired of the constant ganking that goes on in the, um, uh, what's it called? On, uh, the Dragon Bridge. 
just I would say like one out of three matches now is uh me getting ganked on that bridge. But uh who knows? Maybe I'll do a video on it. Maybe I'll do a quick little, you know, hey, look at all these ganking spots. Uh and that's the weird thing about, you know, Dark Souls 2 over Dark Souls 1. Uh in Dark Souls 1, people were embarrassed and ashamed to be gankers. Uh, they knew that that made them bad. They knew that, you know, they were shitty players if they had to gank people. In Dark Souls 2, gankers are, like, crazy proud. They're like, yeah, I'm a fucking ganker. Uh, me and my fucking friends, we can't lose because there's so fucking many of us. And that really does just kind of, like, blow my mind a little bit that people would be really proud that they gank other people. Uh, that's just one of those things that I'm never gonna understand. Um... Maybe eventually someone can explain that to me that uh, the whole concept of ganking. Uh, I mean, it, it literally makes you bad. Um, you don't gain any concept of skill. Uh, you don't learn how to be any better at the game or anything like that. You're literally relying on you and your friend's numbers to win. And uh, it's kind of just pathetic, really. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me, uh, let me into the secrets of why people think ganking is so cool. Uh, and why, why gankers are so, like, proud all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> uh, that, that just really blows my mind. Alright, so instead of fighting a Havel monster, it looks like this guy is literally going for the Havel look. Uh, his weapon is weak as fuck. That's kind of weird. I think I'm actually doing more damage to him than he is to me. Which makes no sense to me. So he switches out to a sword. Uh, can't say I'm surprised. A lot of people give up. Ooh, that's a little embarrassing. Uh, a lot of people just give up on the, um, the heavier weapons the minute they don't work. And they switch to faster weapons. And I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of sad, really. All right, little buddy, where are you going? I'm gonna push you off the fucking ledge. Oh, that would have been great if I could have got that. And do a little jump. Oh my god, he fat roll dodged me. Uh, that's a little, that's embarrassing for me, I guess. Um, please die, Mr. Havel. Uh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, fat boy, just die. There we go. That running attack usually gets people, which is pretty nice. Alright, not bad for Havel. Alright, here we go. Uh, what you got going on here, little buddy? This is a pure caster build. Uh, yeah, looks like a pure caster build to me. Can't say I'm impressed and can't say it wasn't expected. Oh, no. Alright, so this has turned into a gank situation, I'm pretty sure. So let's find our new friend. And I am not seeing anybody. This is bad. Alright, so the caster is obviously going to stay off and uh, probably just spam magic at me. I think these gray dudes can hit each other. So I think my overall goal is to be really... I'm going to try to be a dick and I'm going to be circling to get this uh this gray spirit in between me and the caster and hopefully the caster just hits him all right this guy bows i'm gonna kind of give him a little shrug here i'll give him a little bow maybe this will help him decide not to gank me all right so here we go nope that's not gonna work actually these guys are both pretty serious casters aren't they did not know that you could roll through that but now you know and I did not know that he was using this weapon. All right, so he has a little bit of a, whoa, a little bit of a range advantage. All right, looks like our friend here is not ashamed to gank. That's okay. We will try to knock him out with our uh, little speed here. There you go, little buddy. Get a little backstab in, even though our weapon is weak as fuck. All right, I don't know what he's doing. I don't really care. Get away from him. Alright, so the caster is at his back. That's kind of what we wanted. 
and the caster is just kind of chilling out over there. It seems like he wants to get involved, but he knows that he's going to hit his friend. Come on. Do something to help me out here, little buddy. Uh, ow, really? I forgot how annoying that weapon is. Is this guy using all weapons? And I think he's just doing a little cosplay almost. Using the um, the puzzling straight sword and that uh, that cool little shield that lets. Oh my God, we got some lag. Screw it. Spam attack. Spam attack. All right, there we go. Well, that was interesting. Uh, anyway, like I said, I think that guy was cosplaying from, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Sanctuary, god damn it, what's the first DLC called? I don't even remember. It's just one of those days. Anyway, I think he was cosplaying from that. He has the Sanctum Shield and the, uh, or the Sanctuary Shield or whatever the fuck it's called and the Puzzling Straight Sword. But he wasn't really using an armor set from there, but that's okay. Alright, so our little pure caster buddy switched to a weapon. Spamming some uh, some combustion. Gonna go ahead. Show him that we got a little bit of range too. Ah, this guy's just gonna be irritating. Alright, so luckily for us, we know how to dodge magic. We're not horribly inept at that. We just need to take the last little bit of this guy's health. Oh, get away from me. Oh, well, that's not a throwing knife, but that's okay. Goodbye, friend. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, here we go. I actually got a little invasion in. Uh, as you can see in the top left corner, I have the little bell. Which means I am part of the bell covenant. It would have been cool to do a jump attack with that guy. I thought about that as I was flying through the air. Alright, Abyss Wolf. I think that's what... Yeah, something like that. Um, no, I don't want you to poke me in the butt. No, thank you. You can get away from me, though. I really want to parry him just because he... Oh, nope, he switched to a shield. And, uh, he is actually trying to parry me. That's that's actually really good of him. It seems like he knows my moveset. Which is weird, because not a lot of people use this weapon. Oh, it would have been so good to get the dance move off on him. Come here, little buddy. There we... No, are you kidding me? Come here. Let's be friends. Just a little kiss on the cheek. Just a little kiss. Come here. Stop being so damn dodgy. No. No. And damn it, my weapon is so stupidly short. Let's be friends. Friends don't throw knives at friends. Come here. What the fuck are you doing? Come here, little buddy. There we go. Ugh. Oh, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Alright, guys. So, this has been me using the Monastery Scimitar as a real weapon. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me, uh, let me make some more videos for you guys. It's been a while. Thanks for watching, guys.